Thank you, Dean Hickey. Thank you, UT staff and alumni that helped drive this university forward. Thank you, friends and family. And most of all, thank you, class, and now graduates of 2015. You are part of 12 top 10 ranked science programs in the United States. Truly impressive. You represent this university well. As a graduate of the College of Natural Sciences at the University of Texas, it is an absolute honor to stand before you today. And graduates, it's your special day, but it's actually a special day for me as well. I did not attend my own UT CNS commencement. So can I ask you a favor? Can I have all the graduates stand up and get your horns up? Come on. You guys look awesome. Stay, hold on, keep it up. All right, how about all the friends and family? Can you guys stand up, put your horns up? Come on. Come on, everybody. Everybody get your horns up. This is going to help me remember this day forever. Hold on. Keep your horns up. Wait. All right, now it's your turn. You guys, you guys take a second. Take your selfies. Something to remember this moment. You want it. Go ahead. You got it. Free, free chance. I know you have your phones. Go ahead. You want one? So if everybody could use the hashtag UT15 or UT grad, it would be great. And now to the speech. Should be about 10 minutes. I want to tell you a little bit about my training, which is very similar to yours. At first, um, I'd like to quote a modern day artist and philosopher. And um, I, th I think it's, I hope you guys know who this is. And let me know if you do. But start up from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> who is that? Anybody know? Drake, all right, good job, sharp class. As graduates of UTCNS, you are now here. As graduates, we are joined by a common bond. But our paths to get to this celebration are vast and diverse. Mine was not easy. My parents divorced when I was nine. My mother committed suicide when I was 12. I graduated from a high school, a small school you probably never heard of. And I had zero financial support from my parents to attend college. The hurdles for me to become a graduate of this university were large. Different from those of you, but I know that you have overcome hurdles to get to this ceremony. Love and grace from my dad and the rest of my family and friends, including my fellow Longhorn and now wife, helped me through this process. And I'm sure that your friends and family have helped you through yours. My daily inspiration during my journey is written in stone. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. This is written on stone at the UT main building, and it's been there since 1935. These words transcend time, and I think they're worth taking with you through to your next journey. As scientists, you have received the best education in the world, and you have done so in a fiercely competitive environment. And by now, I hope you have learned that collaborating with your classmates is more beneficial than competing with them. I have learned this in Welch Hall. 
Have any of you had a class in Welch? Anyone? Anybody studied on the floor outside of Welch 2.2 something? <laughs> For parents and those of you who have not had the opportunity to have a class in Welch, let me help try to paint a picture. Imagine all of the people in your high school crammed into one classroom. That is just one lecture hall inside Welch. Inside the walls of Welch Hall, this university conducts world-class research by world-class educators like Senior Vice Provost David Lotte, who teach us to have a lot of fun while we are learning how to change the world. Welch Hall is where I share many memories. Memories from relationships created in those labs. And in those labs, they have a lot of rules. One of them is very specific. Closed toe shoes only. Anybody heard of this one? Yeah, I looked it up. It's still there. <clears throat> so I had a quantum mechanics lab inside the historic Welch Hall. And I realized that being given the opportunity to speak before you today has nothing to do with my near perfect calculus grades, but a whole lot more to do with almost flunking that quantum mechanics lab. So imagine me and my lab partner, Andrew McCall, strolling into our senior level quantum mechanics lab wearing Birkenstocks. The kind that you can see your toes. So it's 15 minutes before lab started. We're in the doorway when it hit us. Simple. You don't have the right shoes. You don't enter the lab. You don't enter the lab on time. You get a zero for that lab. You get a zero for this one hour lab. You fail the class. You fail this one hour class. You do not graduate. We didn't have enough time to get back home. We had to find shoes, and we had to find shoes fast. We bounced 10 ideas back and forth, and we solved the problem. So what do we do? We spent our ass off to the union, and we rented bowling shoes. <laughs> we ran back to class with less than a minute to go, and we finished our lab. It took collaboration, not competition, for me and Andrew to rent shoes so that we could pass quantum mechanics lab and graduate. I'm sure that you guys, the class of 2015, have similar stories. Lots of bonds created in those labs. So um, has anyone had a ridiculous or what they thought to be ridiculous UT lab? Graduates? Any tough labs? Yeah? A couple? You know, it's like a one hour class that will burn up an entire semester of your social life? Something like that? So, UT labs are difficult 20 plus hours of work per week, and an A is actually possible. I'm not sure the A helped my GPA, but. Um, the UT lab experience is part of the training process at this great university. So all of you scientists and graduates, man, I'm talking to everybody. So if I mention your group, shout it out, let me know. But astronomers, any astronomers? I got one. Biologists? It's a big group. Chemists. Biochemists. Computer scientists. Environmental scientists. <laughs> Human development and family scientists. Human ecologists. All right. Mathematicians. Medical laboratory scientists, 
<laughs> Neuroscientists. Physicists. Public health scientists. Textile and apparel scientists. I'm here to tell all of you, as a scientist and a businessman, that just like your excellent training in the labs, sometimes the extra 20 hours a week and giving up your social life to create and innovate can be a, a very large part of your future. As the founder and CEO of a business that started in a garage in North Campus, I'm proud to say that the creation of the business correlates to the training I received at UT and from the UT lab experience. After graduating and while working a day job, I got a chance to solve a problem for a business that no one else wanted to tackle. It had to do with making high purity chemicals for photolithography, and specifically a ketone for all of you chemists. It was like a lab at UT. I researched ways to do this, nights and weekends. I used an analytical approach and some trial and error, and finally solved a problem successfully, and that helped launch the business. Fast forward a few years, and I applied the same analytical approach to a different problem. 911 followed a few years later by several devastating hurricanes put our country's drinking water at risk. It created a need for inland plants to produce chlorine to ensure that we have safe drinking water. I spent extra time at nights and on the weekends while running the business day to day to figure out a new way to make this feasible by building a chlor alkali plant in North Texas. An analytical approach and trial and error wouldn't quite cut it. I had a great idea, but I couldn't do it myself. I needed engineering help. I needed construction help. I needed accounting help and I needed community support. I needed the help, kind of like you would find in a lab partner. So I built a highly talented team comprised of many UT graduates and a few talented others from universities I can't mention. And we became the first company to build, own, and operate an inland chloralkali plant in Texas. Collaboration paid off. Today, our company successfully operates 11 locations in six states, and we've sold over 3.9 billion pounds of products since inception. We deliver that on our own fleet of equipment, then circle the globe more than 120 times per year. So I am proof to all of you scientists that what starts here changes the world. The business I started that came directly from the training I received at the College of Natural Sciences at the University of Texas. So as scientists and now graduates, you have overcome your individual hurdles while competing and you've learned how to collaborate. And in closing, I hope that you will always seek the meaning in the words written in stone on the main building. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And have confidence knowing that when there is a tough problem to solve, it's a complex situation, know that you have been trained to find your own pair of shoes to rent. God bless and hook them. <laughs>